Where are you from? I'm from Paris, France. And what was your first break? I would say it was Swim Little Fish Swim, which is uh, the first feature film that I have co-directed and I star in. So what have you been in? Um, I've been in a few French films and TV shows and more recently I've done an American indie feature film called Sir Street that was shot in France and an Australian international TV show called Picnic at Hanging Rock. And how do you feel about this career? Uh, I mean, I love it. It's, I'm so happy I can do what I like and what I like is just basically building other worlds and like creating my own world and you know being a different person every day and that feels good and I also write and direct so I could switch from one job to the other which feels great as well. I've always wanted to act but when I was a child my parents told me that's a bad idea you're going to suffer because um, you need it depends on somebody other people's desire um, so you have to think about another job and I really had no idea until the day I started in a short film like a student short film just by chance I got street cast for it and I realized there, that, that there was an entire world behind the camera so I got home and I told my parents oh, I have an idea I'm going to direct my own movies so that I could star in them and I will not depend on anybody's desire anymore <laughs> So they didn't know what to say to that and I ended up filming, making my first feature film when I was 21 and I started it so all my dreams came true. <laughs> Who is your favorite actor you look up to? I would say Gina Rollins even though that's not original but yeah I love her, she's, I think she's the best. What would your ideal job be? Um, I'd say what I do, directing and acting, but also my dream job when I was a kid was to be a kangaroo savior. I wanted to save the kangaroos because I heard that in Australia people were actually eating kangaroos. And I hated that idea because it's my favorite animal so that's why I went to Australia actually it wasn't to shoot the TV show it was first of all to save the kangaroos and then I ended up doing a TV show there <laughs> do you consider yourself to be lucky yeah I think I'm very lucky and I mean it's not been always easy and sometimes you fight for something and you don't get it and you fall and it's hard but in the end I do what I've always dreamt to do and and I meet so many great people and you know it changes every day so that makes it even better like you never get um, sick of it that's great so I'm super lucky what advantages do you have uh, I get to travel a lot which I love um, I get to meet all kind of people um, and also what I love about this job, about acting, I mean, is that I get to learn new skills for each character. So I had to skateboard for one part. I had to learn to, you know, do some pole dancing for another part. I also do accents. So I love this. It feels like doing so many different jobs at the same time. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Or what? Or a diploma. Oh, I'd, say I'd love to have a car, but I don't have my license, so I'd say a diploma is more useful. <laughs> how do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Um, I think the world is getting very interconnected, which is very useful for me for what I do, but it's also kind of sad because it feels like we don't have any um, um, specific identity for each culture and each country and I think that's what it's moving toward and I don't really like that idea. But what does the future look like to you? Near future? Or <laughs> I you. mean, the near future looks okay but I'm very scared for my children and 
grandchildren. I don't know where we're going. How do you feel about having children? I think I'm not ready yet, but someday I will want some children, hopefully. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Global warming first. Um, yeah, I'm very, I mean, I love nature and animals, you got that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very scared about the ecologic environment we're living in and, um, and war is scaring me as well, I guess. Yeah, hope it will end someday. What are you most grateful for? Uh, life. <laughs> Just happy to be on this earth, even if it will not last long. <laughs> what is your favorite way to communicate? Mm, I would say person to person, face to face. <laughs> I hate technologies and text messaging, that's not my thing. What is your favorite book, film and music right now? Um, I'd say the last great book I've read is called, it's French, it's called Gabrielle by Anne Berest, who is a very talented French female writer and she wrote about her grandmother who happened to be uh, Francis Picabia's wife and muse, and it's super good. Um, film, film. What did I see recently that I liked? I would say Good Time by the Safdie Brothers. That's not French. I was trying to find a French title and I couldn't find it. And music? And music. Um, I'm a big fan of Princess Nokia, the rapper. I love her. <laughs>